Hey guys, welcome back. We'll continue building out our polls app in Django, and today we're going to learn how we can style our application. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, you can find them linked up here. In this video, we're going to cover how we can work with static files in Django, how we can create CSS and also add images to our application. So let's get right into it. Our Django application that we built so far still uses standard HTML and looks pretty bland. In order to change that, we can apply some styling and also add other static files such as background images. Aside from the HTML generated by the server, our web application can also use additional files, for example images, JavaScript or CSS. And in Django we call these files static files. Now in order to work with static files, we can head over to our Django project and inside of the polls app directory, we can create a new folder which we call static. So in a way it works similar to templates that we worked with before where we also created a separate directory. And similar to templates, Django is also going to look in a certain directory. For that, Django uses the static file finder. And especially when we work with multiple apps, it's really important to make sure that we find the right static file. Therefore, underneath our static directory, we can add another subfolder and we name that after the name of our app. So in our case, polls. So similar to templates where we created that subdirectory, we basically do the same for our static files directory. Now inside of the subdirectory, we're going to add our static files. And to get started, we can apply some styling to our website. For this, we're going to create a new CSS file inside of that folder. And we're going to call it style.css. Here we can apply some basic styling. So in our case here, we want to style the different links and we want to give it a green color. Now, once we defined our styling, we can also apply it. For that, we're going to open up our index.html template that we created before. And here we are going to add an additional line to load the content of our static folder by using load static. And then we can link our CSS style sheet by using the link attribute of type CSS. And we're going to add a link here referencing the content of our static folder and the path to get there. So polls and then inside of that style.css. And similar to when we referenced the content of our templates folder, we don't have to specify the entire path. So polls, static, polls, and then style CSS. But instead, if we just reference polls and then the CSS file, Django is going to understand that we are referencing the content inside of the static polls subdirectory. This is just a short end and a Django convention. So now that we applied our styling in our CSS file, we want to have a look at what it looks like. And for that, we need to restart our development server. So let's open the terminal and let's press Control C to end the server if it's currently running. And then we can type out Python manage py run server to restart our server. After that, we can go back to our web page and reload it. And now we can see that the links are displayed in green. So the styling is applied properly. And of course, we could follow the same steps if we have additional CSS files that we are using. We just need to make sure that we load static at the top of the template file that we are using and then that we link the correct CSS file that we want to use. We can also work with images. Images are also static files. So inside of our static polls folder, we can create a new subdirectory, which we're going to call images. Inside of that, we are going to put a background image that we can work with. As an example, we're going to work with a GIF file. And to find that, I just googled for background GIF and I decided for this image here, so I downloaded it. And once we downloaded it, all we need to do is to take that GIF file and to drag and drop it inside of that images folder. So this is what our image looks like. Now, of course, we still need to make sure that we can actually use it. So for that, we head over to our CSS file again. And inside of our CSS file, we're going to style the body of the page. And specifically, we want to adjust the background. So we're specifying the URL to that image. So inside of our images folder, we have the background.gif file. And we want to make sure that it doesn't repeat. So we set in place, let's save this and let's switch back to our browser. And here we may have to restart the server to properly see the background image, but let's first try if we can just display it by reloading the page. And here we can see that it's properly loaded. So the background image is displayed, our links are still shown, we are forwarded to the correct page. So that's a very easy way how we can style our application. And of course, these are the very basics. In a typical application, we would have multiple CSS files, multiple images we are working with, 
that we want to include in different templates. But the basics are always the same. So we always create a static folder inside of our application. And then we create an additional subdirectory, which has the same name as our app. And then we are going to add our CSS file inside of that. And if you want to work with additional static files, such as images, we're going to create a separate images subfolder inside of the static folder. And then we can add our images in here. In the next video, we're going to cover how we can customize the admin page that is automatically created by Django to better match our requirements. So see you guys in the next video.